I have come to speak to you about Jesus. And I have come to tell you that he is here. And he has come to seek and to save and to empower. Oh, come on, shout amen. amen. Jesus has come tonight to seek, to save, and to empower tonight. So whoever you are and wherever you have come from, you will have your portion tonight. Come on, shout amen. amen. After I have spoken for a little while, I am going to give everyone in this place who does not know the Lord Jesus the opportunity to make a decision tonight. And after that, I am going to pray that Jesus, the baptizer of the Spirit, will release the Spirit tonight. When the Spirit is released and you are sick, you are healed. Oh, come on, shout amen. amen. Give him praise, will you please? When you are bound, you are released. One day, I had traveled to a place called South Bend. And South Bend is in the south of Indianapolis in the U.S. I've gone to visit a certain man and he lived in an apartment three story high. And guess what? I left something down and I went pick it and I was coming when the rest of them were up. In the middle of the staircase, I met a young woman, slim, beautiful, between 28 to 30 years old, right on top. Without provocation, the Spirit of the Lord spoke to me. And when I met her right in the middle, I looked in her eyes and I said to her, Sister, your sins has been forgiven. She said, ah! And stood there. I mounted up, went to the room. The people I went to visit were Liberians. So guess what? I went to eat proper Liberian food. Not that one when you eat, you hurry. Oh boy. Some good jollof with cassava chopped into it cooked very well. I had eaten for more than 45 minutes. We were coming back. Here was the woman I spoke to still standing where I met her. She's cried until her tears has wet every part of her dress. Then she looked into my eyes and said, Gentlemen, are you the one who just spoke to me? I said, yes. Did you mean the things you said? I said, I meant every bit of that word. For the mercies of God is running out like waters. The salvation of God that brings the mercies of God that brings salvation has appeared unto all men. Teaching all men that God is looking for us today and we must say no to every sin. Not when now stop sinning but the Bible says why is our still ungodly God sent his son to come and die on the cross for me. I have come to tell you tonight that he is looking for you. Then she said, you don't know what you are talking about, gentlemen. You don't know what you are talking about. Look at me. I am from Sierra Leone. I became a baby soldier at the age of 11 and 12. Until this time I came here, I've killed every member of my family. I've killed everyone that has come my avenue. I smoke weed. I smoke cocaine. And my pleasure is to kill. Are you sure there is a God who can forgive a sinner like me? That I spoke to her and said, guess what? For this 
the son of man was relieved that he should seek that he should seek that he should seek that he should seek and save that man who is lost get what that salvation is here tonight right at this campus and I had the pleasure of leading her to the presence of the Lord that night. And, and fresh, fresh peace. There's no way you can get that. See, it's only in the Lord Jesus. He came to forgive our sins. And he came to open a new door of mercy for every man that comes to him. And his mercy are over all his works. And his mercies are over all the people that come upon him. And that mercy is here tonight. That night, I had the shock of my life. I saw Jesus doing strange things like he would do tonight. He took our cross. That he will give us his crown. He took our shame. That he will give us his glory. He took our sin. That he will give us his righteousness. He took us our guilt. That he will give us forgiveness of sin. He took our curse. That he will give us his blessing. He is seeking for you tonight. He is seeking. He is seeking. He is seeking. Can you ask me something? He bore our shame. He paid our penalty. He carried our sin. He was bruised for our healing. He came to seek and to save. And guess what? He's seeking for you. He's seeking for you. In Luke's Gospel chapter 19, I'm coming to a close and allow you to make your decision tonight. The Bible said there was a man called Zacchaeus. And he's a task collector, a chief of one of them. And the dispensation at that time considered people of that nature sinful. And so he was a sinner. But the Bible said he has heard about Jesus. The Lamb of God that was sent to come and slain. That Jesus, who alone has the power to save and to redeem. Guess what? He was looking for him. But whilst he was looking for him, he didn't know that for this sake, the Son of Man was released, that he should come and seek and to save people like him. But whilst he was looking, Jesus was rather exploring how to find Zacchaeus. And the Bible says he found a tree and climbed that tree and sat on top of that tree. Peradventure he will find Jesus. But Jesus was already looking for him. And when he got under that tree, he just looked up. He said, hey man, Zacchaeus, I'm looking for you. Come down. Come down. Come on, shout amen. Come on, shout amen. He thought he was looking for him, but Jesus had been looking for him for a long time. He deserted the sin and repented that day. And look at him. Jesus said, come. Today salvation has come into your house. You think you are the worst of sinners. I am coming to stay in your house. Come on, shout amen. You don't have a peace of mind. You are always pretending the way you are. Walking among your friends, you don't sleep in the night. But hear me tonight. This is a pool of mercy. And I have been sent to you. Listen. God is looking for you. Will you please rise up on your feet? My old star. My old star. There is an abundance of mercy everywhere. 
It doesn't matter what you have been to some church before or church before or whatever it is. Standing under this plant or standing under that plant or standing outside or listening to me on any handle or watching me on any television. It doesn't matter where you are. This mercy is flowing like rivers. And I want everyone to close your eyes. Because it is a decision. And this decision is about to change somebody's entire destiny. You hold on with the organ for a while. Hold it for a while. I want you to close your eyes. Because this is a decision that must be made by only you. And no matter where you are standing, you feel that Jesus is looking for you when you are that one. I will have you slip your right hand right up. It's not a question of... Thank you, brother. Thank you, sister. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for lifting up your hands. It's not for anybody to make that decision for you. Lift it up. Don't put it down. It's a sign of obedience to the king. Thank you. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Thank you for sleeping your right hand. Thank you. You don't bother about who knows you. Or who you live in that room with. Just slip up that hand. Because you are alone by yourself. And I want to help you. Can you take a step towards me, please? Come. With your hands up, don't put it down. Just walk towards me. Come quickly. God bless you. Come. Come, sister. Come, brother. Come, young boy. Come quickly. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Come quickly. Come, everyone. Jesus is opening the door. He's calling you tonight. Can I have Miss Capetto to sing it? The song here, come, 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 everyone, come from the back, come from the back, come from under the tent, come from on behalf, from the street, from everywhere. Jesus is calling you, don't put those hands down, come, you are tired, your hand up is telling him that I am tired, you are the only one that I need, you are the only one that I need, come. Come, my friend. Come. Come, precious one. Your destiny is about to be changed. Come quickly. Come. Give them a clap of it. Let them come. Come, 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 come my brother. Come, 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 my sister. Come quickly. Come. Come. Come, 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 come. come, come, come. Yes, come. Come. I can still see you far back. You can't stand there like this. Come, sister. Come. 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 You have fallen into bad company. And tenderly. You have fallen Jesus into bad company. Is calling. And see. Calling for you. For you and, and for, for me. me. See. See on the portal. He's waiting and watching. Watching, watching for you. And for me, come, come home, come home, come home. Yes, come tonight. You are you are weary? Come home, and asleep and tenderly, and asleep tenderly. Jesus, Jesus is, is calling. calling. Calling, calling, oh, oh Sita, come home. Please, I want you to oh, run and come. Come home. After a little while, come home. Oh, Sabra, Domeni, Vasabaha. Who are we? Come home. Come quickly. And come. Tender. Come, my son, come. Jesus. Is calling, calling, oh sinner, come home. You know, when I was in school, my 
My school is not too distant from here. I attended St. Augustine College that time. It's right here. An apostle. Everybody thought I was too quiet. But I was suffering. This is what it is. It doesn't matter whether you are born into a Christian home or born by a Christian father or a Christian mother. This decision is a decision that has to be made by yourself. Too many people think about going to their father's church and their mother's church. But hear me. David said, he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And he said, I will say of the Lord that he is he is my fortress and my refuge. But he says, my God in whom not my father's God, not the God of the church I go to, but my God, he knows him for himself. It's a personal God. Somebody shout amen. To be among the crowd and the multitude is different from having him for yourself. But tonight I'm talking about you having him for yourself. Papa, I had gone to eat a bad food. A bad food. A bad food was been given to me by a jealous classmate. And I've suddenly become sick. My eyes cannot see. And my stomach. Every two hours I have to eat toasted bread and milk. That is why I don't understand. When somebody will be sick. And think, sit there and think that Jesus cannot heal him. Don't understand though. Even when preachers will preach, we preach the gospel like this. This gospel has power not only to save, but to heal them that are sick and release everyone that is bound by the devil and make that powerless man powerful. Somebody shout amen. And hear me tonight. After I'm done with this one, unction is going to come upon every one of you. Because that Jesus who John the Baptist says he's the Lamb of God John the Baptist also said he is the one that baptizes with the Holy Spirit and power and that power is greater than every occult, greater than every sorcery, greater than every magic, greater than every power that has ever been upon the earth somebody shout amen in this place One day, here at Cape Coast Hospital, a certain nurse will come around my bed, but the, the scent around her looks like yours. She looks so different. Too many people think that beauty is in your makeup. It's in the inside of you. When Jesus is here, Come on, shout amen, will you please? And I said, sister, what is it that makes you different? He said, no, I'm not too different. But there is Jesus in my heart. Then I said, I've been singing hymns and praying. My mother taught me. Sunday school taught me. He said, no, he needs to come and dwell and I'm in that heart. Oh, star I. I entered inside the room and locked the door and said to myself, if ever this Jesus is and is that powerful, I need him for myself. On the fourth day, I remembered I have to eat every two hours. I went for a bad food. In fancy people, we have a food we like very much. I want to tell you, but don't quote me. Shout amen. Are you promising you not quote me? It's so. Oh, Jai won't so pay. It's so. And Pepe. But there was no Pepe. There was no uh, uh, 
fish ready. So I got the two and I got the pepper. When I came inside the room, I took the two first. Bundle with the pepper. And the pepper went straight into my nose. And that was what I remember the next several hours. I began to vomit. And guess what? For the first time, I vomited on the floor. All the poison I ate several years ago. And I began to speak a strange tongue. This language I'm speaking now. And from that day when I meet the devil, I want to use him as a Madrid and put him inside my bread. Come on, shout him, man. I have become like a wild lion and you are going to be a wild lion tonight. He that is in the inside of you is greater than he that is inside the world. How many of you are ready to take by the land? Lift up your head and say we are ready. Something about him will come to you tonight. Did you hear what I said? He will take hold of you tonight. He will emerge you into the blood. And you 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 will be changed. The spirit of might that rested upon Jesus to come upon you because you have to take over this campus. Everyone everywhere, whether you are an instrumentalist or a singer or an usher, lift up your two hands. Dear Lord Jesus, release a spirit of might. Number one, shout the name of Jesus. Jesus. Take it. 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 This is might. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. My God. No devil can stand in your presence all the days of your life. Because he that is in you is greater than he that is in the world. This is the power of might. The spirit of Jesus. Oh my God. Master My soul, Ah, All of you lift up your hands, you singers right there. The fire of God is coming upon you right now. You are changing. And you are changing. And you are changing. And you are changing. And you are changing. Sharaita Sakuda Bade. Mandara Balo Kibriasi and the Ibabo. Sharai Satarai. Malai Karakasu Tarai. Ha! 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 In the name of Listen. The Bible said that rested upon him. The spirit of wisdom and the spirit of knowledge. That key is what gives understanding. Hmm. And when we are taking over, we must take over in that regard. The spirit of wisdom and knowledge and understanding. That great wealth... Great wealth of knowledge. Lift your hands up everywhere. You are taking over. Lord Jesus. I ask you to bring. The spirit of wisdom. And knowledge. And understanding. Take it now. Shout his name. Jesus. Take it. Wisdom. Now, dear Lord Jesus, let that same spirit have a sota. 
Habasota. That same spirit that raised you from the dead. The spirit of resurrection and power. And the spirit of holiness. Come upon your people right now. Take them now. Invest them. Take it. 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 Shut up, Baba. Go ahead. Don't stop it. 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 Everywhere is here. She was having a severe stomach ache. And now it is gone. Put your hands together for Jesus. Yes. Apostle, this gentleman is saying that for several years, wow, wow, wow. She, he was tested for a uh, typhoid. Wow. And now, after the prayers, it is gone. Always pain you. Uh, okay. And the now, doctor, the doctors were like, they have to test for typhoid. Test what for do you person. feel the then person, now? They are not there. They are not it's there. Not there. It's, it's not punished. there. It's gone. It's, it's gone. Not God there. bless you. God bless you. As I speak now, the healing is still going on. Amen. Yes. Even in your house, it's going Even on. Even in the house. But you have been anointed to Amen. heal the sick. Yes. To raise the dead. Yes. To cast out devils. Yes. He has given it to you freely. Yes. You believe it, shout, I do. I do. Yeah, that's what I came to tell you in town. Apostle, this lady says that for a week, yes. she has been finding very difficult to breathe. And breathe. just after the prayers, breathe. she can now breathe. breathe. Hallelujah. Breathe. Hallelujah. Breathe. Hallelujah. Don't breathe through your mouth. Breathe through your nose. Breathe. Yes. Look at yes. me. Look at me. Look at me. Oh, glory. 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 And you're glory. Victory. Your heart healed. Your lungs Amen. healed. Your mind Bravo. healed. In yes. the name of Jesus. You demon of asthmaticus, I bind you in the name of Jesus and command you not to enter this body again. Ha! Ha! Thank you. Lift it up. Yes. Lift up your hand and begin to bless the Lord. Bless him. 